<clears throat> Here's a video to help with recognizing oxidation and reduction when electrons are shown. Now, you can remember the difference between oxidation and reduction with a mnemonic device, oil rig. Oil rig stands for oxidation is when you lose electrons in a reaction. So as you go from the left of an arrow to the right of an arrow, an element loses uh, electrons and becomes more positive. RIG, the RIG, stands for reduction is when you gain electrons in a reaction. So from the left side of a reaction arrow to the right side, an element would gain electrons and so become more negative. So that's what oxidation and reduction is in reactions. Let's see if we can recognize it. Question says, indicate whether oxidation or reduction occurs in each of the following reactions. Now, the element we have here is Sn, that's tin. And we can see in the beginning, the charge on tin is two plus. On the right side of the arrow, nothing is written in the top right, which means the charge on tin there is zero. So, tin becomes more negative. Going from plus two to zero it becomes more negative, and if you become more negative, that means that reduction is happening. So here, tin would be reduced. We have reduction happening, and that is our answer. Now, what would a reaction like this look like? Well, you would have aqueous tin. That AQ means this tin is dissolved in water. You wouldn't be able to see it. It would look just like water. You send electrons in there, electricity, and suddenly the tin that was dissolved turns into solid tin, as if from nowhere tin appears. And this is what that would look like. All right, here again, indicate whether oxidation or reduction occurs in the following reaction. So we wanna see how the charge on our element changes. In this case, our element is copper. Nothing is written at the top right of copper on the left side of the arrow, which means that its original charge is zero. When you go to the right side of the arrow, on the top of copper is two plus. So copper went from having zero to a two plus charge. That means it became more positive. Well, if you become more positive, that means you were oxidized. So here, oxidation is happening. Now, what would this look like? Well, we start with solid copper. It's a sort of orange-brown metal. And after it loses its electrons, it suddenly starts dissolving in water, becomes aqueous. It has this two plus charge that allows it to dissolve in water. So we started with a metal, and after it all dissolves, after it's all oxidized, it looks like we just have a liquid. There's no metal there at all, even though all those copper atoms still are there. They would look like this. This is copper being oxidized. How about this? Indicate whether oxidation or reduction occurs in the following reactions. And here our element is lithium. Now, to the left of the arrow, nothing is written in the top right of lithium. That means that it has a zero charge. When you go across the arrow, at the top right of lithium is a plus one charge. When no number is written, it's an implied one, so that's plus one. So lithium is going from zero to positive one. That means it's becoming more positive. Now, if you become more positive, that means oxidation is happening. You must have lost electrons. So lithium here is oxidized. Oxidation is happening. What would this look like? Well, you start with solid lithium. This S in parentheses means it's a solid. And when the reaction happens, it loses that electron. This electron runs away. And now lithium has a positive charge that lets it dissolve in water. It becomes aqueous. So whereas you started with a solid, suddenly after the reaction, it looks as if there's no lithium metal there. It's all dissolved in the water. And this is what that would look like.
This one says, indicate whether oxidation or reduction occurs in the following reaction. So here our element is copper, and it starts with a plus two charge on the left side of the arrow, on the right side of the arrow. At the top right of copper, nothing is written. That means it has a zero charge. So copper went from having a plus two to a zero charge. That means its charge became more negative. Now, if your charge becomes more negative in the course of a reaction, reduction has occurred. So here, copper was reduced. And what's happening in this reaction is reduction. What would this look like? Well, you'd start with aqueous copper. This pot charge allows copper to dissolve in water. It would look like there's no copper there at all. Suddenly, put an electrical wire into the solution. You start sending electrons in, and the electrons slap onto the copper, and the copper suddenly becomes solid. And so a solution that looked like it had nothing in it, like it was just pure water, suddenly copper starts solidifying out of it. And that is reduction. So this is what the reduction of copper would look like. All the copper that's appearing was dissolved in the solution around it. But as it smacks into an electron, it solidifies. Now, oxidation reduction doesn't just happen in a laboratory. It happens in all of our cells all the time in the mitochondria. Inside of human cells are mitochondria that use oxidation reduction of iron atoms to provide energy during a process called electron transport. And these, uh, this question is asking you to identify in each of the following reactions whether oxidation or reduction is occurring. Now, here's a human cell. You can zoom in on the mitochondria right there, and you can see all those sorts of slits in there. Uh, if you were to zoom in on those and the membranes of those, you would see something like this. And electrons bounce through these almost like balls in a pinball machine. And as they do that, they produce energy. And that process is called the electron transport chain. And in that process, iron atoms inside of these proteins get oxidized and reduced. So for example, one of the reactions that'll happen as those electron pinballs ping through that machine is this. Is this oxidation or reduction? Well, our element is iron. On the left side of the arrow, it has a plus three charge. Crossing over the arrow on the right side, it has a plus two charge. So iron goes from having a plus three to a plus two charge. That means it becomes more negative. And if iron becomes more negative, it must have been reduced. So reduction occurred. It gained electrons. On the other hand, in this example, something that also occurs in the electron transport chain, iron starts out with a plus two charge. As you cross over the arrows, the reaction happens as the electron pings around the pinball machine. Iron ends up with a plus three charge. So iron goes from having a plus two to a plus three charge. That means it becomes more positive. Iron becomes more positive. And if you become more positive, if an element becomes more positive, it's oxidized. So here, oxidation occurred. Thanks so much for your attention.